Hey, what's going on guys? Sharon1014 here. Got my uh, second episode for DDO for you guys. And uh, hey, uh, big ups to everybody. Thank you so much. I got 200 subscribers now, so uh, I appreciate it. Uh, this video, we're going to cover hirelings, which you just saw me bring out right there. Uh, that's a cleric hireling. We're also going to cover traps, hidden doors, and uh, go over the XP tables a little bit. So basically what a hireling is, is if uh, you're out playing solo or even if, if your group doesn't have enough people, DDO has these characters called hirelings, which you can buy at a, um, at a vendor. All right, and basically it's an extra character to bring along with you. Most people use healers, though, like casters and stuff like that. They might want to bring a melee to help them out or, or whatever it might be. So as we go into this video, you're going to see me fail knocking this thing down with my crossbow. So eventually I just get upset with it and pull out a sword and just bash the hell out of it. <laughs> um, but this is actually in the uh, Corthos Wilderness area. It's a quest that you can do over there called Redemption. And I really like this quest for showing this video because it has a little bit of everything in it, which is kind of cool. So, as you see, we're going here. Now, you're going to see up at the top of my screen, you're going to see a little warning pop up. Bam, spot hidden. That means my spot skill was high enough to notice that oh, there's probably something hidden here. Now, what I can do is go ahead and search, which I'm doing right now, which should unveil whatever I'm looking for if my search skill is high enough. See right there, the door is highlighted. I can open it up, and uh, here we go. Now I mentioned in the past video about knocking out boxes and stuff like that. You knock out a certain amount of containers and it's added XP for you. Now clearly you can see the trap. They're all not going to be as visual as this. Most of the time you're not even going to know they're there unless your spot skill goes off. But you're going to see I know the trap's there. I'm going to go ahead and search for it. Another cool thing about hirelings is a lot of times they'll let you know if there's something there too. All right, there's a, a control panel. Now, this is how you disable the traps. If your disable device skill is high enough, you'll be able to disable it like I just did right there. These are uh, thieves tools. This is what you have to have to, in order to disable the trap. All right, so I'm going to move around here, and I'm, I'm looking for some more uh, hidden doors because i got this acid over here i got to deal with. So, so there goes my spot again. going to search for it again. And there we go, pops up. And with this quest, there's these valves behind the doors. You turn the valves, and it shuts off that uh, acid. So what I'm going to do is come back over here. And I know from just previously playing this that there's another trap over here. So I'm going to come over here and disable it. Now, you gain extra XP for um, amount of doors you find. Okay, So if a, door, if a quest has multiple doors, then you'll get XP based on how many you find. And also based on how many traps you disable if there are traps and based on how many traps there are. Every dungeon is different in how it's set up. So some dungeons have traps, some don't. Some have traps that are disable, disableable and others do not. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to knock out these containers. Yeah, this can be a little bit tedious, but hey, um, you can have up to 15%, I believe, uh, XP gain for knocking out all these containers. So it's, it's worth the, uh, the tediousness. And plus you find some loot in them, so... Sometimes you'll find some good potions, sometimes you'll find uh, arrows, crossbow bolts, coins, whatever it might be. Now, I think I mentioned in the last video that for the amount of creatures you kill, you also gain uh, different XP tables. So unlike most, uh, most games where you gain XP per kill, so on, this game is more stacked up to you have to finish the dungeon in order to complete the XP, to gain the XP, which I like because... It leaves less window for failure. You, you need you need to be able to succeed. So that's one nice thing too about it. It's not one of those things where you know you're going to get halfway through, but you still might level up. No, you got to be able to complete the dungeon. So especially when you're working with a party, it promotes more team teamwork. I've noticed. So coming over here, they got this little portal over here. Obviously, I can't get through it yet. So I got to figure out how to do it. Now I'm gonna come back here. There, there's two uh, iron defenders up here, and then there'll be a door you'll see me go through. Now, if you move on with the quest, and I'll explain further as we get into it, there's uh, two iron defenders back here behind this door uh, that's unlockable, and there's a chest. Now, the iron defenders right now, because I haven't moved on with the quest, are still active. I want them active so I can maximize my kill XP. If I move on with the quest, then they'll become immobile, and I'll be unable to kill them. 
Now, now you're seeing probably the most annoying ability in the entire game, Grease. If your balance skill is not high, which mine is not, you're just going to fall on your butt a lot. Okay. So I picked the lock there, using Thieves tools as well, and opened the door. Luckily, my hireling and my dog have a little bit better balance than me, and they're not falling on their butt like I was. So I'm able to end that fight pretty quickly and get in to get some loot. Now, <clears throat> with, the, with the XP tables, you always want to try to maximize the most you can get out of it. Some people will do things called zerging. Zerging is where they ignore that. They just run to the end of the quest, try to get as much XP as possible. If you're a free-to-play player, or even as a VIP, and when I was VIP, I did it this way, it, it's better to go ahead and, and, and try to knock out all the XP tables because you, otherwise you're leaving XP behind. And to me, that just seems silly. Like, why would you leave XP behind? But people do it, and it's their own choice. But me, personally, no. You see me there. I'm, I'm trying to help somebody out that was in a chat, so sorry about me just standing there for a minute. But uh, I try to be as helpful as possible, uh, especially with new players, because, it, it, I mean, it's a great game. Uh, here, okay, here, we didn't cover these yet. These are shrines. You have a resurrection shrine, and then we have what's called a rest shrine. Rest shrine, if you're low on health or spell points or action boosts, you can rest at that, and it will replenish you. The resurrection shrine is if you're dead, if you die, you leave behind what's called a soul stone. Now, a soul stone can be picked up by party members. Um, as an artificer, your dog can pick them up. Hirelings can pick them up. And if they take you over to the rest shrine, then you can, or resurrection shrine, then you can come back to life. So, I see here I'm doing these valves because I'm I'm trying to break these crystals. These crystals are what's going to open up the quest for me on the other side. Here we are. I disabled them all with the valves. I had to shut the cold off so I could get to the uh, crystals and have them in a weakened state. See me here failing to go through a door, <laughs> which is often. And if you watch my uh, Modern Warfare 3 videos, I, I probably have, I probably lack, uh, I do, I completely lack the ability to to uh, <laughs> go through doors. But you see here, I'm showing you. Right now, I'm not getting any creature bonus XP, but I am getting it for traps. I'm getting it for doors that's stabled, and I am getting it for containers. So you see, there's a pretty substantial amount of XP there that is uh, available to me that's been added on. So All right, now we're going to move on to the end of this quest. Uh, for this quest, we're trying to protect uh, Hayden, who is right back here. All right, and basically the uh, Swagen, which we uh, met in the first video, are going to put up a little force field so we can't get out. Right there it is. And they're going to come up and they're going to try to kill Hayden. Now one cool thing about having a cleric hireling for this quest is that cleric can go around and heal Hayden. Uh, whereas if I was by myself, he wouldn't be able to get healed. Now my character is still only level 1. Uh, the next video you'll see I'll go into uh, level ups, how to do it, and what rank ups are. And I'll show you actually leveling uh, my character to level 2. I've been a little bit delayed on this video. Um, I am, I'm an active duty soldier. And, you know, i got five kids. And I do Modern Warfare 3 videos. And I'm trying to do DDO videos. And be a father, soldier, all that good stuff. So I just ran a little time. So the character progression for this character as I do these videos uh, will be a little bit slow. But that's fine because it will track along with the video. So I'm going to try to get these uh, out as frequent as I can. But... I'm also doing another DDO series I have in the works right now where people submit their builds from levels 1 to 7 and then post their builds on a DDO site from 1 to 20. And what we'll do is I'll show them the build 1 to 7, then I'll show them the build uh, in action in some quests. And then people can decide if they like that kind of build. And it kind of promotes, uh, you know, these guys that put so much time into these builds. Uh, it gives them some recognition, so we'll spotlight them. We'll spotlight their uh, account, so that you guys can, uh, you know, drop uh, messages in them saying thanks for the build, or we really like the build, or you know, why did you do it this way, and then link you to the full build so you can track along if you want to use that build. I think it'll be a really cool series. I think it's a real nice uh, way for some folks to spotlight, you know, what they're doing, and um, you know, me helping them out because you know I love doing videos, so. Hopefully uh, this pans out. I already got one person on board, and uh, that'll be the first video I do. I'm debating doing. Uh, he's got he's got a couple of builds that are available to uh, new players, which I really like. Uh, it's just a matter of me figuring out because I have a 32 point build how I'm going to organize that. 
I'm thinking I'll probably whatever dump stat there is that's uh, not really useful that character I'll throw those extra four points into but like you see here we were able to finish it off and get my loot and then you got the XP table this is what I should be expecting because now I got conquest for uh, for the monsters killed which added that extra XP there and you see it's pretty substantial the XP you get just for doing the quest completely and not just running through it so we're going to talk to Hayton so we can finish this quest out. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like, give me a favorite. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Uh, I really enjoy doing these videos, and I, I really enjoy comments and, and feedback on my videos. So uh, take care, guys, and I look forward to seeing you at my channel again. Goodbye.